Hello everybody, this is Hobby the Gamer here with my 7th season of my Journeyman Career Mode. This is going to be my 3rd and final season here at Real Sociedad. So if you guys are curious as to which team I decide to move to next, please stick around till the end of the video as I do choose a new team here at the end of the save. And with that being said, let's move into the video. Now I only made one signing in the summer transfer window and... I knew we needed a goalkeeper as Chesney was getting pretty old and his overall was declining and we had plenty of cash to splash so I decided to splurge a little bit on that position and decided to bring in Gavin Bazunu from Hitafe. He would be coming in for a fee of just over 50 million dollars and he's 26, solid overall at 84 so he's got plenty of potential to grow if uh, dy dynamic potential takes effect. But um, I'm really happy with this signing. The board only gave me a D for that. But, you know, I felt like we this was one position that we really needed to strengthen. So with that being said, we can move into the first half highlights. All right, coming into the first game of the league season, we face off against Almeria. And this one was just an absolute horror start for us. Almeria get a goal right after the halftime break. And then they would tack on another to extend their lead a few minutes later and then they will just go on to seal all three points kudos just driving into the box scores and we desperately needed a win and thankfully we, thankfully we got that versus Alaves we get things rolling first Sorensen drives into the box nice low driven shot from him to give us the lead and then Maldonado gets the ball and Puts in a nice little dink over to Makoko. First time shot. Absolute beautiful from him. But Alves do manage to pull one back. Very unlucky deflection. But we get a third goal to give us the win as Makoko just drives into the box. Picks his spot and scores. Moving on. Next up we have Barcelona. And this one is going to be a real challenge. To kind of show us how the uh, big boys are going to play against us. And Barcelona within six minutes score but eventually we do get the equalizer as Makoko finishes slides that into the back of the net and then Barcelona I don't know what Bazunu is doing there but Barcelona managed to take the lead once again but great work from us and I think that's Makoko somehow manages to squeeze it into the back of the net and then right at the death Philip Laurent plays it over to Makoko for his hat trick and we get the win now moving on to the last game of these highlights here versus Real Madrid. They would go on to score first. Just good passing play between them. And Vinny Jr. scores within three minutes. We do get a silver lining as Rodrigo is sent off. And from that, we go on and score as Mafi. Great touch there. Fantastic little dink over Courtois. And we get things level. However, you know, it's always Real Madrid. They're going to find a way back into the game. And they do right before the halftime break. But Moffy once again drives into the box, scores to equalize. And then Moffy just doing whatever he's doing, just absolute car crash there. Sends in the cross to Sorensen. He heads it home. And that's the end of these highlights. Hello everybody. As you can see, we are here in January and taking a look at the standings. We are currently sitting in first on 49 points with Real Madrid behind us in second with 45 points Atletico 37 points Barcelona in fourth on 34 points Sevilla 33 points in fifth and Valencia sitting six with 31 points but we still have the second half of the season so a lot can change here but if we can continue this if we can continue to pick up points where we need and not give up any stupid losses or anything like that then we should be able to win the title which I would be very very happy with we are also in the Supercopa as well so this time in the semifinals we're up against Real Madrid and we could either be facing Sevilla or Atletico in the final depending on how well we do versus Madrid we beat them last season so it would be nice to win it again this season Copa de España I don't think that started yet it hasn't yeah it hasn't started but in the champion, we're still in the Champions League, and we have made it out of our group stage. Nine points, sitting in second, with Chelsea coming in first on 13 points. 
just one loss, I believe that was to Chelsea. Um, yeah, and then Fiorentina uh, comes in third, four points. Gladbach also has four points, but uh, I don't know why they because isn't uh, isn't a higher. Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't doesn't really matter. In the in the round of sixteen, we are up against Borussia Dortmund. Uh, I think that should be a challenge. I don't know how well they're doing, but you know what? We can we can take a look, see how well they're doing. Um, okay, Dortmund Dortmund's currently fifth on twenty nine points. Stuttgart's first. Bayern Munich third, thirty two points. Pretty tight. Pretty tight race. Pretty much all the teams up to yeah, all the top six teams all can have a shot at the title. But right now, Dortmund is currently sitting in fifth. So that that's uh, I don't know. Looks like their team probably isn't the strongest. That would be yeah. So I think it's gonna be a pretty good match here. It should be a pretty good match. And um, taking a look at some of the transfers out. We did have some big transfers out. Yeah, Diego Tomas, unfortunately, he's moving to Hoffenheim, headed to the Bundesliga for a fee of just over $48 million. He didn't have a game face, so I didn't really like playing him too much. Um, he is 83, so he's probably a third choice striker. Same with Pacheo. He was alright, he didn't have a game face either. either. Um, he's headed to Barcelona, sixteen million dollars. Uh, Same with Kalakaskia. He just wasn't getting the game time. I felt that was unfair to him for how much of a baller he is. So he's headed to Sevilla, staying in the league. So we might see him versus Sevilla in the future matches. Same with Alex Sola. He just wasn't getting game time. Felt like another move would be fair for his career. And then Horniak was never going to get playing time here. And then everybody else just got sent out on loan. So, yeah, those are pretty much all the transfers out. And that's pretty much all I really need to show you guys. Um, I will say, taking a look at some of my transfer targets. I do have my eyes on a third choice striker ever with the departure of... Um, uh, Tiago Tomas I, I, I just felt like we needed somebody else I pref preferably I want somebody who can play like the striker right wing or left wing like Georges Coutillas here I don't know if that's a game face or not so I'm holding off on buying him but Iker Bravo might be one he is a bit pricey Anthony Martial is another one I think he's he, I think he's got the position he's got the attributes to play on the front three there but it doesn't really say that he is um, Burkhart listed as a striker and right winger he is also a little bit more pricier than I would have liked um, Brabi I think this guy also has the uh, attributes to play on the wings um, yeah Marco Latsik listed as a left winger as well um yeah so i definitely got my eyes on a striker i'm probably going to go through the window just scouting a few more and i'm not too sure who i'm going to sign at the moment but with that being said we can go right into the transfers and then the second half highlights like the summer transfer window, I only made one signing initially here in January, and that was for Omar Marmouche. I felt like we needed more of a rotational striker. He could also play on the wings, which is something that I liked, and that's what's something I looked forward to. So I felt like he would fit in very nicely in the team. And I had to pay a little bit more than his valuation, having to shell out a fee of $22 million dollars. But I felt like he would be very, very pivotal for us. And with that being said, we can move into the second half highlights. Alright, starting off the second half highlights here with Bazunu's old team, Hitafe FC. They earned themselves a penalty, but Bazunu stands up strong, manages to save that. 
However, it doesn't really matter as Hatafe would go on to score first, giving them the lead. We do very well to respond though. Caden Clark, fantastic finish from him, gives us the equalizer. And then we would eventually take the lead with Zambo with Philip Laurent's shot, giving us the lead. And then we earn ourselves a penalty as well. Makoko stepping up and absolutely burying it here. Great finish from him to give us the win. And then now moving on into the Supercopa final versus Sevilla. Sevilla get, get themselves a penalty. But Makoko once again stands up strong, manages to save that. And then we get ourselves a penalty. Makoko stepping up to the spot and the Sevilla keeper saves it. So two save penalties in this game. However, it wouldn't harm us as Maldonado manages to score, giving us the lead. Only for Hitafe to come, uh, for Sevilla to come out in the second half and score right away from this free kick. Crashes off the crossbar, but Sevilla managed to not at home to take the lead. And then Delo on the outside, Sorensen. Fantastic finish from him, giving us the equalizer. And then Mokoko sends it over to Wiley. Great finish from him to give us the lead. And then to finish off the game, Mokoko just drives into the box, holds off his defender, slips it into the back of the net for the win. And Joe Gomez here is going to lift up the Supercopa trophy, giving us our first trophy for this season. And we still have two more chances with uh, the Copa del Rey and the Champions League as we still were in it. And now after this game, this was we must have been hungover because Atletico just came out and absolutely dominated us. They get a goal three minutes into the game. And then only a few minutes later, Yao Felix, great finish from him. They tack on a 2-0 lead pretty early on. Defensive mistake from us here. Horrible, horrible defense. And then Atletico take a very early 3-0 lead. Donnie does well to get a goal back, but it wouldn't mount a comeback. And Atletico would finish us off later on to give them the win. Now we have the Copa del Rey uh, semifinals here versus Valencia. We get a penalty, um, and Makoko steps up to the plate and absolutely sinks it. Great finish from him, giving us one goal back. And then Zombo sends in a cross to Sorensen. Great finish from him, and we tie things up on aggregate. And from then on, it was just our show. Sorensen plays it over to Makoko, has a great touch, gets it into the back of the net. We take the lead on aggregate, and then Makoko gets gets by his defender, passes it over to Caden Clark. He slips it into the back of the net, and we advance to the final. Now, this is... The round of 16 versus Borussia Dortmund. Unfortunately, Bazunu did just get an injury for three months, effectively taking him out of the season. And we were also a few goals down here, but we do have a great start to the game here as Contreras plays it over to Mafi. Within the first minute, he gets a goal, and we tie things up on aggregate. However, from then on, it was just a back-and-forth game. Dortmund get a goal back. They take the lead. They, t they would extend their lead with this goal, and we're down two goals on aggregate. But Mafi does very well. Great finesse shot to get a goal back. And then Mafi on his hat trick, drives into the box, slams at home. He secures his hat trick, and we tie things up on aggregate. Horrible defense from us, though, and Dortmund would take the lead. Now, I thought Marmouche won us the uh, tie the game up here. And then we would manage to win it in extra time, but we don't, and Dortmund advance. Now, after that showing in the Champions League round of 16, I knew we desperately needed a keeper, which is why I brought in David Soria from the free agents list. He is a pretty he is pretty old, but at an 82 overall, you can't go wrong. He was probably the best one that I could find in the free agents, so that's why I decided to bring him in. Hello everybody, here we are in the Copa del Rey final versus Hetafe, and this is going to be the starting lineup here, gone with the four, the three four two one formation, Mokoko up top, Illich and Maldonado, the two center attacking midfielders, Gancheras and Sorensen, the two wingers on the outside, Zambo Anguisa and Carney, the two center midfielders, Gomez 
Bassi and Pacho, the three center backs, and David Soria in goal. I did just sign David Soria because Bazunu went down with a three month injury, effectively putting him out for the rest of the season. And as you guys saw in the highlights, Chesney is really unfortunately not up to speed as we, that's kind of the reason why we were not knocked out of the Champions League versus Dortmund he just couldn't make a save to save his life unfortunately but with that being said we do have Saria in goal now 82 overall not bad I like it so let's just get right into this final now shall we what free kick for them Danger, dangerous position here we gotta get this cleared if we don't get it clear, we don't get it clear. Hatafe taking one nil lead. Basically a free header. I don't know what the defense, what our defense is doing here. I don't know how they managed to get a ball uh, ahead on that ball. Basically like a corner kick from where they were, just a little bit closer. Sorsen. Yes, I see. Contreras, can we find him? Please, gotta go on target. Let's go! Contreras gives us a goal back. Let's go! Great cross in from Sorensen. And Contreras, all he's gotta do is not at home. Let's go! This is what we needed. Just a breakthrough. We were hammering them earlier on in the first half, but find a breakthrough here. Level things up. Great cross in from Sorensen. Takes a few touches, sends in a flying ball. Contreras, all he's gotta do is knock that into the back of the net, which he does. This is what we need. Mokoko, you gotta finish. Mokoko, you gotta finish. Which he does. Mokoko, let's go. Great pass in from Dello. Sends Mokoko through on goal. All he's gotta do is finish. And he gives us the 2 1 lead over Hitafe in the final 80th minute. All we gotta do is hold on, and the trophy is gonna be ours. Let's go. Let's go. Fantastic ball in from Dello. Takes a few touches, slams that into the back of the net. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now all we gotta do is hold out defensively. This is dangerous from top A. Might look to spoil the party. Nope. Let's go. We get the win here. We get the win. We lift the trophy. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Great second half performance from us. Tafe scored early on in the first half, but we show great resilience. Contreras, great header from Sorensen to get things level. And then Mokoko, dying minutes of the game, gets played through, and all he has to do is finish. Of course he's doing that. And we are going to lift the Copa del Rey trophy. Joel Gomez is going to lift the trophy for us. Great second half performance from us. Absolute beautiful team play. This is our second trophy of the season, I believe. We did, I think we won the Super Cup. Maybe. Hopefully, if I can't remember correctly, because this might be the only other trophy we might win for the season. Especially since we were knocked out of the Champions League round of 16. Very unfortunate injury to Bazunu. I mean, if we had Bazunu, I think we would have came out on top. But... It is what it is, so let's get on with the rest of the season. Alright, we have five games left remaining in the season, and taking a look at the standings, Real Madrid is currently sitting first on 77 points. We are in second with 73 points. Barcelona right behind us on 70 points, and Atletico behind them in fourth with 68 points. So we do have a shot at the title. We're only four points behind Real Madrid, um, but you know that's uh, we. It is dependent on how well Real Madrid do on the final game of the season as well. So, taking a look at the schedule, we have Villarreal on the 28th, then Vallecano Athletic Club, Girona, and Elche. So the final two games, we should be winning those. The only ones that would probably give us trouble would be Villarreal. And Athletic Club, Rayo Vallecano, we should be winning that one as well. So I'm going to sim ahead to the uh, probably the I'm going to sim ahead to the Hirona game 
take a look at where we are in the standings and if we don't have any if we can't if Real Madrid have already sealed the title depending on how how we do and how they do then I'll probably I'll still probably play the final game live just cuz I'll play the highlights or so just cuz why not so I'll be right back in a bit all right folks final game of the season here versus Elche and taking a look at the standings, here we are in first on 83 points. Real Madrid and Barcelona right behind us on 82 points. So this is really a must-win game. And taking a look at the board objectives here, not too popular. We got a 50 out of 100, not too bad, but not great. And taking a look at the third bulletin point there, we do need to win the league title. And I think if we do that, then we should probably... That should really boost our popularity rating. So, like I said, this is a must-win game. So, this is the formation I've gone with. The 4-5-1 attack. Mokoko, the striker. Illich and Moriba, the two center attacking midfielders. Donny van de Beek, the center mid. Sorensen and Paredes, two wingers on the outside. Foyth and Delo, two wingbacks. Gomez and Pacho, two center backs with Soria in goal. Alright, Mokoko kicking us off here. Elche are pretty pretty low in the tables but that can't mean we can't underestimate them still want to come out here do the job that I know we can do and then just like this goal let's go let's go that's exactly what we needed exactly what we needed Moriba gets us off the mark take a very early 1-0 lead within five minutes of the game starting that's exactly what I taught that's what we, exactly exactly what we needed Illich Plays it over to Makoko. Makoko sends it back to Mariba. First time shot. Spinning. Let's go. That's what we needed. Let's go. Oh, Donnie, what are you doing? No way. No way. Oh, my God. Did he get the ball? I don't think he got the ball. We've given LJ a lifeline back into the game. Horrible for me. I don't know what I'm doing. I think he got the ball. He got the ball. Well, Larson's stepping up. Let's go! Let's go! He saved it. Saria saves it. Keeps this game level, but we're not out of the woods yet. We gotta get this corner kick cleared. Send it up to Makoko. Yeah. Oh, alright. Makoko draws a foul. We can slow things down. Exactly what we want. Alright, halftime here. Taking a 1 0 lead versus LJ. Surya did really well to uh, save Larson's penalty, kept us in the lead and the clean sheet. So, but we're not. The game's not done yet. I still want to attack on one or two more goals, and then I will really be, feel confident about our chances. So, yeah, I want to take a look at who um, who's winning the Real Madrid game. Barcelona's winning, so we have to come out here and win now and Real Madrid drawing so that that plays into our favor but Barcelona are still winning so we have to we have to win this game now no no other choice and if we can get a fast start here that would be that would be ideal Sorensen maybe I should have played it across but we have a corner kick I'm gonna play it short I'm gonna look to send in the ball. Oh, it's gone in. Let's go. Delo's header. Let's go. Delo's header's gone in. I think that's Delo. Keeper managed to get a hand on it. Couldn't save that. Let's go. Great header in from Delo. Illich, nice cross in. And we take a 2 0 lead here versus Elche right after the second half started. Fantastic play from us. Yeah, Illich takes the ball here. Just sends in a nice cross. Delo gets in front of his man. Keeper manages to get a save a hand on that, but not enough to keep it out of the back of the net. Wins it back though. And Carney seals the win for us. Let's go! Fantastic finish from him. Great, great performance all around. And we seal the win and we seal the title here. Three Moffy plays it to Alfonso. Alfonso just lays it off to Carney. Low driven shot from him. Fantastic finish. And we seal the win here. And like I said, we're going to seal the title. Absolute clinical from 
us today. We needed to come out, get all three points. It was a little bit rough. We had a fantastic start in the first half, but uh, we gave away a penalty. Sariba steps up, and we take. We can tack on another one here. The low against the box. Cross comes in from Caden Clark. Maldonado seals the win. We're just playing with them now. Let's go. Maldonado has got an assist and a goal on the day. Doing a happy little frog. Fantastic. Like I said, we need to come out here, get all three points, and we just come out here and just start really tacking on. Let's go. Great performance. You love to see it. You love to see it. How much extra time is next? Let's get another. We don't get another, but you know what? 4 0 win. We get to keep a clean sheet. Great performance all around. We seal the title. We do the domestic double. We win the uh, Copa del Rey and the league title. We do the domestic double. So, great performance. Great, great performance. Couldn't be happier. That investment in Syria really paid off, in my opinion. I mean, I, if if I kept Chesney in goal, I don't think we would have we would have won the title. So, really glad that Saria was able to. Really glad that Saria was still available in the free agent list. So, so but we're gonna lift the title. Great performances all around. Joel Gomez is gonna lift the trophy for us, and this is gonna be the final season. Like I said before, it's gonna be the final season here at Real Madrid, at Real Sociedad. And I couldn't think of any other way better than to any other way better to finish the season off. Doing the domestic double. Now I think it's time to take my talents over to the Premier League and hopefully win something there. I am gonna take a look at the Premier League table just to see who finished where. But yeah. We can get on with it. Alright, well there you have it. Just uh we've won the title. Real Madrid did end up winning their game, so I'm glad that we did win it. Looks like Barcelona must have drawn with, let's see here, let's take a look, let's take a look. Uh, final day. Yeah, Real Madrid beat Celta Vigo and Barcelona, yeah, Barcelona drew with Sevilla, so if we didn't come out and win, then we would have lost the title. But unfortunately, taking a look at the board objectives, we still... We still have a weak popularity rating. I don't I don't know see why. I guess because we didn't reach the Champions League final, even though that we had a massive injury to Bazunu, and that's pretty much the whole reason why we lost that. But um yeah, that's unfortunate. Kinda stupid in my opinion. But uh let's take a look at the jobs. And there's no job openings available. That's lovely. I think it's because of the popularity rating, so that's gonna that's that's why we have no job openings. But realistically, I do think that it is time to move on. We've had three seasons here at Sociedad, We've won the domestic double here, so I really don't see why we wouldn't be able to find a job elsewhere, even though the game's not letting us. So, I think I might have to fiddle around, fiddle around with that just to see what's going on. But, yeah, take a look at the Premier because I, I, I do plan on moving to the Premier League. Alright, Liverpool, Liverpool won the league. 79 points. Manchester City came in second. Man United came in third. Wolves came in fourth. Arsenal came in fifth. Chelsea in sixth. Spurs seventh. Who's getting sent down? Burnley, Watford, and Bournemouth all getting sent down. So that's interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna pause the recording here for actually. I can uh, do the squad, squ the squad stats. Completely forgot about that. All right, top appearances goes to Sorensen, 50 appearances. Second is for Pacho, 47 appearances. Third is Carney Chuck Mueca, 46 appearances. Top goal scorer of the season goes to uh, Mokoko, 22 goals and 40 appearances. Sorensen in second with 21 goals and 50 appearances. And Mendez, 19 and 40 appearances. 
Top clean sheets goes to Alfonso Maldonado, 16 assists in 44 appearances. Sorensen second with 15. And then Mendez in third with 11. Top clean sheets goes to Pareda, 17 clean sheets. Next is Pacho with 16. And then Gomez and Mendez tied with 14. So pretty solid stats for us all. We do have some players leaving on freeze. James Justin, I'm leaving. I'm letting him go. Same with Chesney, Sagnan, Ake. And yeah, those four are all being left on freeze. Just didn't really see them having too much more playing time with us here. So, yeah, with that being said, we can take a look at the player stats for this. Rodrigo won the Golden Boot with Real Madrid. Where do we, do we have anybody? Swords have barely made the top 15. Oh no, Mokoko's right there, 15, 15 goals in 7th. Assists, oh we have both, both top spots, Maldonado won the top spot, and Sorensen came in 2nd with that, and then Mendez in 6th, and then Mokoko in 13th. So, absolute units there. Clean sheets, Bazunu is in 6th with 6th, and then Soria in 12th with 4th. So pretty solid. I think probably Bazunu probably probably would have won it if he didn't get that unfortunate injury. But yeah, I like I said, I am gonna pause the recording here just so I can try and see if I can force some offers. All right. So after fiddling around with a few things, I tried the uh, sending the release clause to one dollar and getting fired like that. Unfortunately, all that came up were. Uh, like teams that were in the second division of Spain and that's not really where I realistically think this manager could go so I, I set the manager popularity up to uh, like 99 or whatever and I, I don't think that's honestly not realistic because we won the domestic double so I would assume that the popularity rating should be pretty high I don't understand why we need to sign three players from South America and why that is a huge priority. I just don't see the point in that. We won, the, like I said, we won the domestic double, so we should be pretty popular. I don't really think the, you think the fans care about whether we sign three players. You think the fans would prefer us signing three players born in South America versus the domestic double? I highly doubt that. So, like I said, I think that's a little bit stupid, so... Well, um, I, I don't see an issue doing that so uh, yeah taking a look at the jobs um, we do have quite a few options we have Arsenal Chelsea Liverpool Man City Man United Spurs and Leicester so um, I mean we did take a look at the table and I do want to go I do like Liverpool we have Allison Nunez Tukumeni Diaz, Doak, Torres. They do have a lot of good players. But Man City are, you know, Man City or Man City. Uh, same with Man United. But, and Spurs. We can, we can always go to Spurs as well. Yeah, so I'm going to apply for this Liverpool job. And, yeah, we'll, can, we can advance a few days in that ahead. And I think we should begin the job here. Yep, we got the job, so I'm going to do a few things. We're going to set release clauses to um, just for a few players just because so, I want to bring them over to Liverpool. So I'm going to do that, and then you'll, next time you'll see me, you guys, we, we will be the manager of Liverpool. So just a second here. It shouldn't take too long. All right, guys, here we are as manager of Liverpool, and apparently it looks like the whatever I was looking at is wrong because <laughs> it says that Liverpool finished third. So, that's not really ideal now, is it? Man United won the title with 81 points. Man City, 72 points. And Liverpool finished with 70 points. So, now that's, nah, 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 that's something. Well, at least we have Champions League football for next season. So, I guess it's not too big of a deal. But, uh, Liverpool won the Community Shield. FA Cup. Looks like Man City won that. Carabao Cup. Man City won that. So, yeah, not too bad 
for Man City, but yeah, let's take a look at the squad here. We got Torres, Diaz, Doak, Torreya, Tukumeni, Willock, Nunez. Why on earth is Nunez playing as left back? We know we have Cancelo, Ignacio, Jalo, Kunde. Oh, we got Muhammad Ali Cho. Let's go. We have a very good squad. I like this. Bradley. Euro Clarkson, all right. Got some good. We got some youth academy players here too. Moroccan Ramsey Wilkins, Rashida Dell France. Yep. All right. All right. All right. All right. We got some good players. We have got some good players. And uh, yeah, youth academy import. That's also pretty important. All right. We got a goalkeeper six five. All right. I like that. Egyptian, Maro Longo, Italian, 5'6", left back, Josep Maldonado from Bolivia, uh, looks like he might not make the team, but let's take him on winger, this guy, this guy's our homegrown talent looks like, left back, yeah, 94 potential, and Sali also looks to be pretty good. Adaba, Adabel Wahib Sali. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hopefully, I'm not butchering that too badly. All right, all right let's take a look at the squad. We got Allison in goal, 36, still kicking around. Castiles, 36. Game phase, too. All right. We got some good players. This guy, have a, I don't think this guy's a game phase. Might have to get rid of him. Might have to get rid of him. Cancelo, 35, still kicking around. All right, we're losing El Halil and Calvi, and we're losing Ramsey. Not ideal. That's not good. Who else are we losing? Graham Burt's not still sticking with us. Gustav Hansen sticking on a long list. Same with Ezra Dodds. Christian Arnstead. All right. Is anybody else leaving us? No. All right. Good. All right. So we're only losing. What are we losing? What are we losing? We're losing. Uh, Omar El Halil and Calvin Ramsey, both right backs. Oh, we got plenty of right backs. That that's probably why they're leaving. I would have liked to keep Ramsey here because he is a youth academy player for Liverpool uh, in real life. But we do have Kunde and Cancelo, so they probably weren't getting too many. And Bradley, we still have Bradley too, so. Yeah, we have a very good squad here, so I'm very content with this team. I'm very content with this team. And, yeah, so that's pretty much all I need to show you guys. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys all tuning in. I appreciate the support y'all have been giving me lately in the new videos so that being said if you do like this type of content make sure to subscribe leave a comment and i hope you guys all have a lovely day